Hello, welcome to my channel. AOMEI Backupper app is one of the best disk cloning apps, and today I will show you how to clone disks easily with this app and you will not lose any data. For this I will use the new version. This is the latest version and the cloning function in this application will not be free, but its diverse capabilities and impeccable performance are definitely worth the money spent. It doesn't matter whether you are cloning HDD to SSD, HDD to NVMe or SSD to NVMe, all the steps with these different drives will be the same, don't worry, watch my video carefully and we will succeed. I open this PC, and here we see two drives connected to my computer. Drive C, this is the original Windows 11 drive, this is where my photos, videos, and some of my data are located, this drive is small in size and quite old, and I want to clone drive C to a faster 1TB SSD. First you need to download the disk cloning program AOMEI Backupper. To do this, open the video description and click the link to the application download page. On the AOMEI Backupper website you can learn about the application in more detail because in addition to disk cloning, AOMEI Backupper has several other useful functions that may be useful for a computer user. To purchase this app and then download it to your computer, click here. On this page you can choose the tariff that suits you, and go through the standard payment procedure. You can also download the free version of the application to get acquainted with its capabilities, and to do this, click here. I have already purchased and downloaded this application and will now install it on my computer. I open File Explorer, then the Downloads folder, and here you need to double-click the program icon. In this window you can select the appropriate language, I do not change anything and leave it in English. Install now. The program window opened and here we see the main menu. Here you can select and use various functions of the application, I open the section for cloning. In this window, you can choose to clone only the operating system or a disk partition, I will clone the entire disk. In this window, we need to select the source disk to transfer all its information to another disk, and I click on disk C. Next. In the window that opens, we need to select the target disk, this is my disk D with a volume of 1TB and all the data from disk C will be placed on it. I click on it. Next. Please read this message and follow the recommendations that are necessary for you. OK. Please note that the source disk has a GPT partition scheme, and although the second disk has an MBR partition scheme, you do not need to worry, this application can automatically convert the second disk to the required partition scheme, in my case, disk D will be converted to GPT. If you want to go back and make changes, click back. But if you are ready to start cloning, click, start clone. The application informs that the second disk will be automatically converted to GPT, I click, yes, and the cloning process has begun. For some time you do not need to do anything and just wait for the cloning to complete. Cloning is complete, I click, finish, and close the application window. Let's open this PC, and let's see what we got in the end. Yes, here we see that all the data that is on drive C has been transferred to drive D, and now we see on the second drive all the folders that should be on drive C. To configure your computer to work with the second disk, you need to restart your computer and enter the BIOS. To do this, immediately after rebooting the computer, you need to constantly press a certain key on the keyboard. I have the delete key, you may have the delete key, F1, F2, or another key. The BIOS opened, so that the computer boots from the new disk, using certain keys on the keyboard we need to go to the boot section. Then go to the boot priority options management section on line number 1. 
Here we see that in the first boot place I have a 250GB disk installed, and in the second place is a new 1TB disk. To change the boot priority of the disks, I press, enter, and in the window that opens, I go to the 1TB disk, press, enter. Now we see that the new disk is set in the boot priority in first place. Do the same with your disks and after that, your computer will also boot from the new disk. To save the changes to the BIOS settings, press F10. In the window that opens, select Yes, press Enter, and the computer immediately reboots. On the lock screen, I enter the PIN code and the desktop of my Windows immediately opens. Here we see that after cloning, no changes have occurred on the desktop, the wallpaper is exactly the same, the icons of folders and applications have not changed at all, and everything looks the same as on the desktop of the old Windows, but in fact, this is already happening on a new 1TB SSD. Let's open this PC and check if this is true. Yes, in the This PC window we see that the C drive is now 1TB and the D drive is 250GB, which means that the cloning was perfect. After the cloning is successfully completed, you can format the old drive and use it to store data. I hope that you learned something new and useful for yourself today. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Have a nice day everyone.